I'm Rave, and this is my Nerf Strife Fly Crossbow. This is a blaster that I actually modified and painted about a year and a half ago, and I am actually selling it now to try and fund some really cool new future projects to put on my channel. So be sure to check out the link in the description box if you're interested in purchasing this. In terms of the modification, what this is is a Nerf Strife integrated into a Nerf Firefly stock. And just because I think they look pretty neat, I added some Zombie Strike Crossfire bow arms to the front. The actual functioning blaster of this build is the Strife itself, and the Firefly stock is added for the overall aesthetic and comfort and feel of the blaster as a whole. In terms of internal modifications to the Strife, I have removed all of the electronic and mechanical locks to make the blaster smoother to operate and able to run on upgraded batteries without destroying the circuit. In terms of the Firefly shell, I pretty much just cut it here and here and took out all of the internals and all of the, the turret and everything in the front in order for the strife to just slide back into it easily. I integrated both shells together using hot glue internally and epoxy putty on the outside. Two of the areas that I'm most proud of with this integration is how the mating of the two shells came together on this side of the strife where there's just a crisp line right there. There's not even any epoxy putty filling that gap. And then on this other side, most of the gluing and putty work is actually internal as this part of the firefly was actually able to come over the strife. The overall bonding of these two blaster shells together is very, very sturdy. It's very strong. Overall, it's just really comfortable, it's really nice externally, and it just feels great in your hands when you use it. The bow arms are actually removable, they're just um, friction fitted onto the Strife's front muzzle piece, and so if I want a lower profile, I can remove them. I also painted a six dart magazine to fit with that same sort of low profile mode, and you just pop the back on like so, and make sure that that's centered, and you're all good to go. In terms of the paint job, I primed the entire blaster with a Duplicolor charcoal gray vinyl dye and then masked off all of the areas that I've left gray here and then went over that with a Rust-Oleum matte white. One thing I think is um, pretty unique about this paint job is that I then went over all of the white areas with a second coat of a different white and this was a Duplicolor Perfect Match White Pearl. What that does is give the whole blaster a sort of metallic sheen. I added some Krylon Shortcuts Chrome Dry Brushing over the whole blaster, as well as using that same paint to highlight some of the details, such as the Nerf logo and some of these extra little bits on the Firefly shell that I thought would stand out in silver. Since I've been using this blaster quite frequently, there are several areas where the paint is worn. Um, specifically on corners and areas like the rev button and mag release. But I did take a few precautions such as with the trigger I cut out the back so that when this is sliding back and forth it's not rubbing off paint. It's doing nothing but um, interacting with the air and so there's, there's almost no paint scraping off of the actual trigger which is pretty nice I think for um, how old and well used this is. The overall look and color scheme was sort of a Destiny inspired look um, but also has some some kind of fantasy elements thrown in with the sci-fi such as the the bow arms and the overall um, look of like an adamant type metal that I was going for. Firing elite darts. <laughs> of the new and improved USC darts, which I have long since needed to do a new review on. for this video. Again, if you're interested in purchasing this blaster, just take a look at the eBay auction in the description below. If you would like a custom blaster like this or anything else you can think of built of your own, um, contact me at my email, ravetrooper21 at gmail.com, also located in the description. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Happy nursing.